Hello, dear students. Welcome to China Today. And your instructor, Wang Hen, from Guangxi Normal University. In this session, we are going to discuss something about the four gentlemen in plants. There are four types of plants that are commonly used as a metaphor for a novel character in Chinese culture. They are the plum blossom, orchid, bamboo, and the chrysanthemum. Like the animals in the zodiac, these plants also embody some personality traits associated with their own characteristics. They have been considered as symbols of good qualities and traits, which Chinese people cherish and value so much. It's the reason why they are called the Four Gentlemen. In addition, they had a significant impact on Chinese literature and art. Asian scholars and literati perform to choose them as the subject for their works. Now, let's get to know more about them together. Plum blossom, a kind of cold resistant flower, not like more other flowers. It's one of a few flowers that usually blossom in winter or very early spring. Therefore, in Chinese literal works, the plum blossom is widely used to refer to a noble character with courage, determination, integrity, and modesty. Besides, it's considered as a representation of winter time. On the other hand, this hardy plant can actually add a splashy of color to the winter garden and comfort people during the toughest period of the year. Thus, people also see it as a spring bringer. Here is a poem called Plum Blossom, written by Wang Anshi, a famous poet during the Song Dynasty. Mei Hua, Qiangjiao Shu Zhi Mei, Lin Han Du Zi Kai. Yao zhi bu shi xue, wei you an xiang lai. It was saying there are several white plum blossoms at the world corner. Even in extreme cold, they alone flower in delight. From a distance, I know that they are not snow white, for sweet scent floats and lingers in the freezing air. Our cats flower in spring, although prone to snapping or breaking if not carefully taken care of. They are highly valued for their delicate fragrance. Our cats often grow in remote mountains and deep valleys. They are regarded as noble and pure. There is a Chinese idiom, Kong Gu Yu Lan, Literally, it means pretty orchids in a quiet valley. Here, these orchids are the metaphor for good and virtuous traits of a person. Orchids are usually related to the following qualities. Fertility, elegance, innocence, and purity. Confucius, a Chinese sage, also had the greatest admiration for orchids and often compared them to noble scholars. He once said, the orchids grow in the woods and they let out their fragrance even as there is no one around to appreciate. Likewise, men of noble character will not let poverty deter their will to be guided by high principles and morals. Bamboo, a typical Chinese plant, is well known as the main food source or the giant panda. However, bamboo could become popular among Chinese people. In fact, mainly because it symbolizes the vitality, integrity, longevity. Bamboo shoots first in spring. So that's the Chinese idiom, based on this feature. Yu Ho Chun Sun, 
Literally, it can be translated as bamboo shoots after spring rain, and usually used to describe things that happen quickly, suddenly, and without much warning. It can exactly correspond to spring-like mushroom in English. Moreover, it also indicates energy, enthusiasm, and liveliness in Chinese context. Zhen Banqiao, a renowned poet, painter, and calligrapher in Qing Dynasty, was famous for painting bamboos. The bamboo vividly describes the features and the characteristics associated with bamboo. Let's enjoy a short video clip and read this poem together. Qing. 正谢，咬定青山不放松，立根原在破岩中，千磨万击还坚劲，任尔东西南北风。In addition, it used to be a tradition to fire bamboo for various celebrations before the firecracker was invented. So, bamboo is also a symbol of security and safety. Okay, here comes the last one, chrysanthemum. It often blossoms in autumn when other flowers are fading away. The chrysanthemum is beautiful and colorful, so Chinese people have been interested in growing different varieties of chrysanthemums, and they use them. As a garden decoration since ancient times, even though many Chinese literati chose Chris Thanserman as the subject for their creations, Tao Yuanming must be the one we have to know. As a renowned literature in the Jing Dynasty, he expresses all his affection and admiration for Chris Thanserman and his works. Which also reflected a simple and easy life he had been known for. For example, he wrote a poem, "Chrysanthemum blows gorgeously in autumn. Pick one with dew on it. Dip the flower in the wine while drinking, making me forget why I was opposite." Because of Tao Yuanming's poems, chrysanthemum has become a metaphor for the recluse and the country life. Dear students, apart from the four gentlemen, there are still some other plants, such as the pine, lotus, and the peony, also commonly used to refer to a noble character. Well, this lecture comes to an end now. See you next time.